Clintons, and we are beating her with young people with a double-digit lead with young people over Hillary Clinton. That is Senator Ted Cruz, who uh, this morning we wake up, and now they are officially throwing the kitchen sink at Donald Trump. Stephen Roberts, ABC News political analyst, joins us. Good morning, Stephen Roberts. Hello, McGraw. Good morning. You betcha. So we wake up this morning to some type of interesting alliance between Ted Cruz and John Kasich. What do you make of this story? Too little, too late uh, is my basic take here. Uh, Republicans, as you and I have been talking for months, have been exceedingly ineffective and feckless in all of their attempts to stop Donald Trump. At first, they didn't take him seriously. Then you had, as they started to realize he was not going to collapse on his own, you had this whole long trail of auditions, Bush and uh, Carson and Christie and endless uh, uh, parade, all of whom failed to really stop Trump. And now this reeks of desperation to me. Um, And, uh, look, it might help on a marginal basis. Uh, The deal is that Kasich stays out of Indiana focuses on Oregon and New Mexico, Cruz stays out of Oregon and New Mexico, on the theory that uh, uh, these guys are uh, dividing up the anti-Trump vote in those states. But what's going to happen tomorrow is Trump is almost certain to win big victories in all five of the states that are voting. And I, you could hear over the weekend uh, interviews from Republicans gathering in Florida for a meeting that uh, their attitudes ranged from acceptance to resignation, um, I think there's a growing feeling that uh, Trump's going to be very, very, very difficult to stop. You know, it's really interesting. They've done everything they've they they've could. They they've turned themselves into contortionists to try and figure out a way to stop Trump. At some point, you just have to say this is who the voters want. Well, you know, they as as we've talked many times, some voters want. I mean, uh, he has consistently gotten about forty percent of the vote and forty percent in the polls. So a clear majority of Republicans really want someone else. There's no doubt about that in my mind. The question is who? And the question is can they organize? And every single, uh, you know, Trump has been effective in many ways, but uh, in some ways just as important uh, to this whole story and understanding these last few months is the failure of other candidates to really fill that vacuum. Ted Cruz has done well, but Ted Cruz is a very, very conservative candidate um, uh, who does not travel well. We saw that very clearly in New York last week when he ran a dismal third um, and doesn't have the national hefter profile to really challenge Trump. And uh, Kasich, while a, an appealing, moderately conservative governor of Ohio, has won exactly one state in the entire primary season, and that was his own. So uh, this is not, the story is not just success, McGraw. Yeah. It's the failure of everybody else in the Republican Party to provide a compelling alternative. What do you make of the uh, Donald Trump storyline that um, I'm going to be presidential the day after I get the delegates I need to win, then I'll become presidential? I think people are going to see the phoniness behind this. I mean, even uh, you know, Donald Trump's chief advisor said the other day, Donald Trump has been playing a part well, we kind of knew that, right? I mean, this is a guy who has been a professional TV performer for a long time. He was a reality TV star where he played a character called Donald Trump on The Apprentice. And this presidential candidate has been doing the same thing. He's been playing a candidate who acts authentic. But that's not the same thing as being authentic. Um, and uh, uh, sure, I think the basic Trump core of support will continue to be behind him. But... Uh, these machinations, these, these, this play acting of somehow the new Trump, uh, is that going to appeal beyond his core? I think the answer is no. I think people are going to see it for what it is, which is, is, is manipulation and deceit. And, um, uh, and they've got his own words to throw back at him, this notion that you have a, a candidate for president who uh, plays parts. Uh, now, look, Ronald Reagan on some level did that, too. But Ronald Reagan was a professional actor, and, and the the part he played as president was the greatest role of his life. Donald Trump is no Ronald Reagan when it comes to acting. Stephen Roberts, ABC News political analyst. Have a good week. Thanks for checking in. Okay, okay friend. You got six twenty-five.